Great Tips on Working with Gold As the dollar has declined in value lately, gold has looked similar to an increasingly more attractive investment. Gold can be a precious metal that may be very popular for investors to acquire behind, and that is one thing that becomes more valuable eventually. The following will help you purchase gold intelligently. Buy your gold valued by multiple sources. Several gold buying services and jewelry stores get different profits to the gold they buy. If you're able to work with a few different places, you will notice if you're getting the best offer. Get the jewelry appraised. This adds an upfront cost, however it could save you lots of money later. An impartial appraiser must be used in order to receive the best value. Know that you probably will not get the full appraisal price whenever you sell your gold. If you choose to mail your gold to a buyer, discover how much mailing and ensuring these things will set you back and just how much you should pay to offer the items mailed back if you happen to usually do not accept the buyer's offer. Some companies will pay for your postage if you send but charge a high price after they return the piece to you. It's best to be prepared therefore you are not amazed at return shipping charges. Gold is a lot of fun to acquire, but stay away from announcing it to everyone. You may accidentally be overheard from a thief. Stay quiet concerning the investment and make sure you retain it safe. This is the easiest method to protect yourself and your gold investment. Remember to find gold in thrift and antique shops. When you know what to locate, you can find great things in these places. Many people tend not to realize the things they have then sell it or donate it to the shops. Their lack of awareness could be used to your benefit, once you learn things to search for. Look into the market price of gold prior to try to sell yours. It's also smart to research what similar pieces have for asking prices. This provides you with an amount point to work with. Always start just a little higher than what you are actually hoping to get, therefore you have room to barter. Talk with a rep in a gold party to see the way that they find out the volume of carats in the jewelry piece. Sometimes you will find a stamp. Some sellers are trained to calculate the need for a piece of gold that is certainly not stamped. Acid tests are a good way to ascertain value. Research all that one could prior to invest in gold. Many people pretend to promote experts but who are in reality just attempting to dupe you into investing through them. Usually do not buy into promises of quick riches. Avoid the idea of gold being a get-rich-quick scheme, and you will not lead into false expectations. It is a great idea to examine with all the better business bureau prior to handle a gold broker. They'll have basic resources for you including reviews and complaints of their customers. Look closely at complaints to learn whether they were satisfactorily resolved. If the quantity of complaints is high, it would be a sensible decision to do business with an alternative company instead. You don't must physically own gold to invest in it. Stocks in gold mining or gold-based mutual funds are two such alternatives. It is wise to look at the costs to keep gold. Gold is generally a safe investment but this precious metal can even be volatile. If you can handle quick jumps from time to time, avoid it. Regardless of whether this does not bother you, it is prudent to become careful. Make gold just a small percentage of your portfolio at first. Stick to a limit of 5%. If you will find small gems in your gold piece, ask to hold the gems after the gold is melted down. Remember that really small gems are quite tough to remove. Someone trading in gold is most probably not planning to want a tiny gem, because the value will not be there after it's melted down. If you are interested in purchasing gold, keep an eye out for gold coins made in America ahead of the 30s. Gold coins were regularly minted and circulated by the US Treasury before that date, when FDR recalled the coins. Some individuals kept their gold coins. These are available today. It is important that you simply avoid going overboard and purchasing an excessive amount of whenever you invest in gold. Remember that stocks and bonds will provide you some income. Gold will never. The retail price is likely to fluctuate a good deal in the gold market. The value only rises when equities decline in price. 
limit your gold investment to 5% of your portfolio. Whenever you sell your gold coins, consider the value from both how much they weigh as well as collectors. Selling them by weight alone may rob you of additional profit. This is why that it must be vital to do your research beforehand so you know the price of what you will be selling. Do your due diligence before you decide to handle any gold business. There are far more than the usual few bad eggs inside the gold market. You could very easily be cheated. You ought to be sure this may not happen to you. Therefore, ask people surrounding you for the recommendation and look online. If you locate the correct price, you may make better decisions. When you are mailing your gold pieces, find what happens should they lose your pieces, especially regarding any reimbursement policy. Companies often limit their own liability when it comes to shipped gold. Usually do not hesitate to buy additional insurance to shield the things you ship. There are numerous strategies involved when investing in gold and also the other precious metals. A few will prefer coins and some would just like stock. You just gain solid information on understanding the entire gold market. GVMG Global Viral Marketing Group. Thank you for watching to the end. One time secret offer. Free web marketing tools giveaway and more. For more details, please click the URL below.